Hello everyone, in this video we will see how about the different errors in chaining. It is a very relatively easy topic. So let us see what are the different errors in chaining possible. One is it could be due to incorrect length of the chain. You could be using a different length for calculation. Other is temperature variation. As you know when there is heat the chain or the tape will expand with temperature. So the length will be incorrect again. Another thing is it could be either due to bad ranging. Suppose if you have a point here and instead of keeping the ranging rod here someone kept somewhere else then you could end up measuring more length. So that is one more type of error. Other is sagging tape or chain. If suppose this is the if you are hanging a tape like this it will sag. So that is one more error possible. Other is due to careless holding or due to variation in pull. Sometimes you might pull it very strong which becomes straight like this. Sometimes you might pull it very less something like that. So these are the different errors which are possible. Incorrect length can the error can be positive or negative. Variation in temperature also can be positive or negative. But bad ranging you always measure more length. So the error is always positive and similarly in sagging tape you always measure more length than required this was the length to be measured but you measure more length so again error is positive variation in pull or careless holding can be positive or negative depending on how you do so these are the error signs so the correction sign will be opposite of that if this will be negative or positive and for bad ranging it is always negative correction because you measure more length error is more so you have to minus it to correct it so correction is positive similarly for sagging tape or chain it is negative correction and this can be either of that in this these four are called cumulative errors if error occurs on the field of positive sign then it will always be of positive sign so it keeps on adding up but variation in pull or careless holding you might hold it very tight sometimes sometimes you might hold it very loose it happens due to accident so the errors can be compensative sometimes it will be positive sometimes it will be negative so this gets compensated every time so it is called compensating errors now let us solve some examples and check out the formulas for these things first let us see incorrect length so here they have given length of the chain sorry length of the line with a 20 meter chain was 400 meter so this they measured to be 400 meter but later they found out that the chain was 0 0.04 meter too long what is the actual length of the line so they have given here chain was 0 0.04 meter too long so they have measured with the longer chain which means they have measured less distance so actual length of chain should have been 20 meter but they measured with a 20.04 meter chain so they have they would have measured less distance than usual so the correction to be applied is positive so what is the correction to be applied you know length of measured length was 400 meter and with a 20 meter chain so they have measured 20 times so 20 times you have to apply the correction 400 by 20 that is into 0 0.04 which is the correction per chain you will get it as 0 0.8 meter so answer is 400 plus 0 0.8 which is 400.8 meter this is the actual length of the line if you see formula it is nothing but so here you have C is the correction per chain length. So that you have 0 
L is the designated length of the chain, which is 20 meter here. And L is the measured length. So this is the formula to be applied to get the correction into 400 is your measured length. If you solve this, you will get 0.8 meter. So this is the correction to be applied. Now let us see the next type of error which is variation in temperature. Let us start directly with an example. So they have given length of the line was measured to be 500 meter with a 30 meter tip. The field temperature was 35 degree Celsius. So here they have given 30 meter tape exactly measured to be 30, temp 30 meters at 25 degree Celsius. But field temperature is 35 degree Celsius. So the length there will be a correction. The coefficient of thermal expansion also they have given. So the correction to be applied for temperature is. So this formula is very simple alpha is alpha is coefficient of thermal expansion tms mean field temperature so here in this case our mean field temperature was 35 degrees celsius and t naught is the temperature during standardization that is when the tape length was fixed it was fixed at 25 degrees celsius so that is the temperature during standardization and L is your measured length and whatever sign comes here that is the correction sign also. So if Tm is greater than T0 you will get positive correction and if Tm is less than T0 you will get negative correction. So here you have alpha is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 5 per degree Celsius into Tm is 35 field temperature minus 25 into measured length is 500. If you solve this you will get the answer as 0 0.06 meter. So the correction to be applied is positive 0 0.06. So it is 500 plus 0 0.6 meter. So the actual length of the line is 500.06 meter. Now let us see the next one. Correction for pull. Correction for pull is P minus P naught into L divided by A E. This is also a very simple formula. L is your measured length. Area is cross sectional area of tape or chain. And E is the Young's modulus. So these values are standard values which you will get and P is your applied pull. And P naught is the standard pull. So this tape length of 20 meter or 30 meter is 20 meters only when you apply this standard pull. If you apply more pull the correction will be positive and if you apply less pull the correction will be negative. So this is correction for pull. Next we have correction for sag. So if you don't, if you hold the tape between two instruments it will sag like this. This should be the original length but it will sag like this. So the correction to be applied is negative because you have measured more length than what was on the field because this length will be more than this length. So the correction to be applied is negative. So the formula for SAC correction goes like L by 24 W by P the whole square. So here you have L is the length between the two points length of the span and W is total weight weight of the chain or whatever tape you are using and P is the pull applied 
how much pull you are applying between both the points so let us solve this sum so they have asked sag correction for 30 meter tape with pull of 100 newton in two spans of 10 meter each they have also given the weight of steel and cross sectional area of tape so here you notice two spans of 10 meter each so we will solve for one span and multiply by two so that you get the correction for both the spans so we have the formula correction equal to l by 24 w by p the whole square so we have pull of 100 newton length we have 10 meter and weight of steel total weight we need but here they have given weight per volume meter cube so we have to find out first the weight weight of weight of the tape will be 80 kilo newton per meter cube that is 80 into 10 power 3 newton per meter cube into cross sectional area into length of the tape which is 10 meter so cross sectional area is in mm square so we know 1 meter is 1000 mm so 1 mm will be 10 power minus 3 meter so 8 mm square it is mm square so 10 power minus 3 into 10 power minus 3 which is 8 into 10 power minus 6 meter square into length which is 10 meter so meter square into meter is meter cube you should be careful in units so if you solve this you will get the answer as 6.4 newton this is the weight of the tape so cs equal to 10 by 24 l measured length is 10 meter weight is 6.4 divided by 100 the whole square if you solve this you will get 1.7 into 10 power minus 3 meter so you know 1 mm is 10 power minus 3 meter so it is 1.7 mm so for two spans of 10 meter each it will be 3.4 mm 1.7 into 2 which is 3.4 mm so this is the correction to be applied so let us see the next one which is correction for slope or bad ranging so whenever whenever it is bad raging you measure more length than usual you suppose this is the point to be measured a b and you held the ranging rod somewhere else so you end up measuring more length than usual so let us denote this as h and this is your measured length so actual length is a b so the correction to be applied is negative because a b is less than a c so the correction to be applied is cs equal to l minus root of l square minus h square it is nothing but ac minus ab is the correction which is l minus this is root of l square minus h square so this is approximately h squared by 2l this is the formula you have to remember if you know the angle theta which is for slope i mean the slope you know for the bad ranging then it is correction to be applied is L into 1 minus cos theta because this AB is L cos theta, AC is L, so L minus L cos theta, L into 1 minus cos theta. Let us see a small example. The measured length for a tape from A to B you have L1 then B to C you have L2 so what is the actual length of AC this happened due to some slope correction so the actual length or the correction to be applied will be D squared by 2 L1 for this part and D squared by 2 L2 for this part by applying the formula H squared by 2 L this is the correction to be applied for AC now let us see the last type of correction correction for mean sea level you know the earth is curved so here you have the mean sea level and if you go all the points on earth will be slightly above mean sea level so you have the actual length is l and the geodetic distance will be d let us say it is 
h height from the mean sea level so this is also correction is negative because the measured length is more than usual so the correction is nothing but l minus d that is measured length minus geodetic distance which is approximately l h by r r is the radius of earth which is 6370 km so these corrections will be very less and note that this correction is negative i hope you guys understood all the errors and corrections in chaining thank you guys for watching the video to continue to watch more videos please subscribe to